Okay, we're going to go ahead and get started. Um, this is Fruition Partners through DevCon webinar. I want to ask you before we begin the content, if you just give me a hands up on the go to webinar so we can make sure you can hear my audio. There we go. I'm seeing several come up, so it sounds like you can hear me. All right, so thank you for joining us this afternoon. I uh, appreciate your time. My name is Karen Murtaugh. I'm the project manager for Fru DevCon. My normal daily work is managing our education, educational programs at Fruition Partners, and we feel like this one fits right within all those other educational programs that we do. I'm also going to be joined by Tom Sobchak, who is the director of platform development, and Matt Hawk, who is the product manager. A quick overview of what we'll be looking at today. I'm going to start the webinar out talking about the logistics of the conference, the when, where, why, what is the general conference about, and how you can find out more information about the conference. I'm going to hand it over to Tom, who's going to do a deeper dive into the curriculum, the track exploration, to answer all those questions you may have about what you actually will learn at Purdue DevCon. Uh, Matt Hawk is then going to take over and give you an actual sneak preview of the kind of exciting things that you're going to learn in a hands-on environment at Purdue DevCon. Um, we'll come back. I'll show you how to order. I'll give you that 10% discount code we promised you, and then we'll take any questions you may have. So as we go along, if you have a question that occurs to you, if you can just type it up there in the sidebar, we'll keep an eye on it and get you all those answers certainly by the end of this webinar. So when? This is taking place this fall, 2013. There's two portions of the conference. There's the pre-conference and the conference, and those are sold separately. So the pre-conference is Saturday the 29th through Sunday the 30th. Starts at 8.30, goes until 5 o'clock p.m., and it has uh, a lunch on your own on that day. The conference itself kicks off that Sunday evening with a reception at 6 p.m., and we have another reception on Monday as well. We're going to be talking a little bit further in this webinar about what the point of those are. Um, the registration will start on Sunday, it will continue on Monday morning. We have two conference keynotes and those will take place in the mornings on Monday and Tuesday and then we have breakout sessions and labs all day long on Monday and Tuesday from 10 a.m. to 5.30 p.m. The conference itself ends with a long, exciting, old school hackathon overnight, 6 p.m. to 4 a.m. Um, there will be contests. Uh, it should be a pretty exciting thing. We're, we're really looking forward to that hackathon. And then finally, because we don't want to announce the hackathon winners at 4 a.m. when everyone's a little bit bleary, uh, we're going we're gonna to have a, an ending keynote to the um, Free DevCon, in, at which the hackathon winners will be announced. And that will take place on Thursday, October 3rd. So where is the conference? Uh, it's Western Michigan Avenue in Chicago, Illinois. You can see a picture of it there. It's actually beautiful. It's going to be really nice. Um, it steps away from Lake Michigan, right next to John Hancock. Um, it's going to be very easy for you to get around when we have off-site networking receptions as we will be transporting you, and it's just going to be nice and convenient for you to stay there um, throughout the conference, and hopefully you can join us there. Um, you can call the Weston directly at that number listed below, 888-627-8385, and reference Fruition Partners or you can also follow the link at our Fruit DevCon website. So why should you come? Um, this is the first ever ServiceNow Developer Conference. We've, we've gotten a lot of questions about, you know, I went to Knowledge this year. Um, it seems like I've already done the, tr done the conference thing. We don't consider this um, a traditional conference by any means. Uh, this is a learning experience that we're going to walk away um, having the ability to have hands-on access to the knowledge that we're going to transfer to you. Um, there's going to be over 20 of the top developers on the ServiceNow platform there. Um, every day they're presenting innovative solutions to leading companies across the world, really, and those are the same people who will be teaching you. Um, as I mentioned, this is going to be practical applications. You're going to actually will be... Um, be learning lessons that you can take home. Meals and social activities are included in the conference price, so this is a really great value. That's uh, you're not gonna have, once you land there and have paid for your hotel, everything's included in that conference price. Um, and if you need more reasons, you can check out Convince Your Boss, which is located on our website, so fruitionpartners.com through DevCon. You can take a look at our um, Convince Your Boss letter. 
to uh, a little bit more logistic what overview. The pre-conference, the courses being offered are application development, discovery, orchestration, scripting, and then we've also got a fruition exclusive that we are launching this summer, and that's contact content management system in service now. The cost for the pre-conference is $795 with a conference purchase, and that regular list price is $1,495 to $219.95. So, you know, if, if you want to take these exact same classes, it would cost you significantly more if you were not purchasing it in, in uh, combination with the with uh, fruition co conference this fall. We have some Excited, got some exciting news this week. Fred Luddy, uh, Chief Product Officer at ServiceNow, is going to be our keynote. Uh, he's really excited to to come and and share his ideas with you for the future of the platform. Um, and he's actually even been asking us what questions we have for him. So if something occurs to you, you want to send it over? Feel free. We'll pass it on to Fred. He he just loves um, being out there with the developers, and in this small environment of 200 participants is going to be a great way uh, for him to meet with you and for you to, to learn from him. Mark Toledo, the CEO at Fruition Partners, will also be a keynote. And we've got a third keynote, which is going to be revealed soon. So keep an eye out for that announcement. The conference breakout sessions. Uh, you will be choosing eight classes total. There are, we are presenting 11 unique labs and 22 unique lectures. Some of those sessions will be run twice because of, of high demand for particular subject matters. but you're definitely going to have a chance to pick the eight classes that suit your interests and your business needs. You can choose to focus on one track, or you can pick and choose from several. So again, this is going to be very much a tailored content suited for you. We have small class sizes. You're going to have maximum interaction with um, the experts who will be teaching these classes. And self-registration is going to begin in, uh, about six weeks before the conference. So two to three weeks, you'll see in the email once you've registered, giving you directions of how you can choose your classes. The networking opportunities I referenced earlier, there are going to be two evening receptions. One's going to be off-site an exclusive Chicago location to be revealed soon. And we've also set up lunch roundtables where we'll have fruition experts staffing tables to facilitate conversation and, and just another opportunity for you to learn from your peers um, during this conference. We'll have a developer lounge where our partners will be showing off their most innovative solutions. Um, so we'll see demos, chat with those, uh, those experts um, right out at their booth. We'll also be getting uh, able to get one-on-one -on -one advice from Fruition's top, top developers. So we're going to have a, a Fruition section where we will have somebody staff there constantly. You can walk up and say, I've been trying to figure this out. I don't know what to do. Do you have any ideas on this? And they're going to be there to give you that advice. We really want to make sure that you have access to our developers and you walk away um, having improved your skills and, and having learned practical techniques that are going to help your um, help you back in your everyday work. Hackathon, you're going to form teams, you're going to win prizes, bring recognition to your company. We'll be making little videos up and sending them back to the winning team's company so you can post on your social media and show off what you've accomplished. And also it's just, it's going to be a lot of fun. It's, we're going to provide fantastic food and drink, beer, Red Bull, that sort of thing. Uh, there's a beautiful, the room is a really cool room overlooking Lake Michigan. So we're trying to create an environment where you can code all night and have a good time. Um, how to find out more. Fruitionpartners.com through DevCon is our website. You can also find that link just by going to fruitionpartners.com and clicking in the upper right hand corner. You can email us. Uh, we've got a toll free number there. Or if you call Fruition at that number at the bottom, 888 um, you can ask to speak to somebody you know, ask to speak to a consultant you've worked with, a salesperson you've worked with, ask them how this is going to um, impact your business's day-to-day um, -day work with ServiceNow. With that, I'm going to turn it over to Tom Sobchak, who's going to do a deeper dive. Hi, everybody. This is Tom Sobchak. I'm the Director of um, Platform Development here at Fruition Partners. So, um, very intimately involved with the conference. Um, a lot of my team members are actually building a lot of the content out and actually presenting. So really excited about this event. Um, so what I'm going to do is just kind of go through the, the curriculum and track and tracks and explain a little bit just high level of, of what we're going to be covering and kind of the goals of each of those tracks. So um, just overall, um, these, 
we mentioned before, th these are geared for the developer and sysadmin. Um, so it's not, uh, it's really for hands-on uh, development. It's not so much for, um, you know, uh, business users or, or end users. I mean, this is, the, you know, the, uh, the Knowledge 13 and the, the Knowledge Conferences are kind of geared for, there's some development in there, but it's, it's really geared for the business users um, to, you know, get more information on and kind of general overview of, of the platform. Um, this is really gets down in, into the nitty gritty for, for developers and sysadmins. Um, again, this is all new custom content. You haven't seen it before. Um, this hasn't been presented anywhere. Um, this is exclusive from fruition and, it, again, all new custom content. Um, and our presenters are, um, they're not trainers, they're actual hands-on developers and, and uh, system integrators. They've, they've done this stuff. They've, they've had real-world practical development experience. Many of them have, um, you know, no, understand multiple languages, Java, C Sharp, um, .NET, et cetera. So um, they, they really have the, uh, the skills to uh, kind of take you to the next level. Um, let's see here. So there's 25 plus sessions in labs, and the labs are designed to provide immediate value with real world examples in code that we implement every day with our clients. So again, this is stuff. Our guys are out in the field um, doing this and, and make, creating solutions for our customers, and we're going to give, give you that same knowledge that we use every day. Um, so the cloud track. The cloud track um, is really discover the variety of platform off offerings and how they compare and contrast to the ServiceNow platform. Um, you know, so we'll be talking about the various platforms, how they, how they compare to ServiceNow, how they integrate. Um, Kind of the stacks underneath each one of those um, platforms, um, and you know, looking at things like Heroku and et cetera to uh, see how, how they are are designed as compared to the ServiceNow platform. Um, the goal here is to uh, bring back um, understanding of knowledge of of ServiceNow and other platforms in the cloud space and their benefits and how, and how they compare against each other. Um, integrations track. So here we're going to dive into concepts, design, development, various integrations of ServiceNow. So um, you're going to get hands-on experience in labs with REST, uh, SOAP, and mid-servers. So a lot of exposure to web services, how to use them, uh, how to create them, and also, you know, basically how, to, how these integration points work and, you know, deciding which, which is the best, best method of, of integration. Um, so the goal here is to understand the integration points in the ServiceNow and how and when to use them. Next slide. Um, here for the uh, application development track, um, really going to learn about the patterns and practices to build custom UIs in your application. Um, this means uh, getting hands-on experience with best practices in designing and building applications from scratch. And the goal here is to um, really give you the power to um, kind of create applications outside of, of the ITSM applications that a lot of you kind of are used to the incident problem change. So th this will help you to um, go back to the business and say, hey, I've got the skills now to, um, to build that HR app or, or whatever, you know, request fulfillment that you might have or any kind of workflow style application that you might have in your company and uh, give you the confidence to, to go there and, and, and build it out. Um, tools track. Um, so this is tools from... Um, not only internal tools, but some of the tools we've developed um, and some of our partners have developed, um, and they, they will definitely help you increase the speed of development and give you functionality and reusability. Um, we're gonna, there's, a, there's an advanced workflows lab and orchestration lab, which a lot of people are, are excited about, and also um, using Twilio and the Twilio um, plugins that we've developed, um, which is all the um, cloud telephony functionality. So um, also a couple uh, classroom um, classroom uh, classes, I guess, uh, which is TDD t a test room development and um, a Scrum class as well to, to kind of help you accelerate development, um, understand the process of Scrum, and, and you can definitely bring that back and use that with your teams to accelerate your development. So um, here the goal is explore various tools and service now that will improve your your develop your times of delivery in your organization. So that will def definitely help you um, bring back some great ideas to, uh, to accelerate development and delivery. Um, user interface track. So this is um, really 
a lot about CMS and front end UI stuff. So there's um, you know how to build custom pages inside and outside of ServiceNow. Um, we've got um, one of our CMS gurus here at Service uh, at Fruition Partners that is um, going to be teaching uh, the pre-conference CMS class, and also um, there's a couple different labs for CMS. So um, he's built over 50 CMS sites, um, so he's really a guru in the, in the space, and he'll be able to give you lots of pointers, um, tips, um, ways to accelerate your CMS development, um, and, and the, the ability to uh, take those skills back um, to your organization and crush your colleagues with, with the fancy stuff you've learned. Um, parting notes here, so on all the tracks, again, this is for developers, by developers. Developers created the content for you, for you people, for, you, for developers and sysadmins. Um, you learn from, collaborate, socialize with some of the most talented people working in the ServiceNow ecosystem and, and be able to pick their brain, which I think is, is great. Um, and we'll help you become a ServiceNow ninja by attending FruitCon.com. Thanks. FruitCon, sorry. Uh, thank you, Tom, and hello, everybody. Um, as I was introduced earlier, my name is Matt Hawk. I'm a product manager with Fruition Partners. Um, partly, the FruitCon is an opportunity to learn um, about some of the tools, as mentioned uh, earlier by Tom, some of the tools that we bring to the ServiceNow platform. Um, we bring the Telebridge-based telebridge um, telephony capabilities, uh, as well as some developer tools. And the sneak peek I wanted to share with you today uh, is within our tools track, uh, taking a look at test-driven development specifically. Uh, test-driven development is, you know, it's really an opportunity to elevate not just your knowledge of ServiceNow, but it's an opportunity to elevate your skills as a developer in general. So the, the skills you learn through test-driven development um, serve really a wide range of platforms um, and programming languages. And ServiceNow is just an outstanding place to learn about the test-driven development discipline. And as you'll see in just a minute here, um, test-driven development is also, um, it's not just about your skills, it's also about saving time. So what I wanted to share with you today is a little bit of an experience that I've gone through countless times. I don't know how many hours um, I've spent going through what I'm about to show you. Um, but having been with Fruition Partners for a um, little over three and a half years now, I've done a lot of service catalog deployments. And when you're developing a service catalog workflow, you know, you spend a lot of time in the catalog as a developer doing test checkouts. You know, you go and you tweak the workflow, and then you check the item out, you approve a record, you close a task, and still something is broken in the workflow. So you go through it again, and then you try to tweak something in the workflow, and still something is broken. And so you, before you know it, you've spent 45 minutes, you've spent an hour racking up 16, 17, 18 request items um, just, just to test one small little piece of logic that's buried in a workflow you're working on. So let me give you a little bit of a taste of what that process looks like in a test-driven development world. If we look at the workflow that I'm working on, I have an item. Actually, I'll show you the item first. It's a real simple item called shared drive. This is a request where I can request access to an HR department, IT department, customer portal project, or Ohio Distribution Center project shared drive. And the business requirement I was given is that if the person I'm requesting this access for is not a manager and they are requesting access to the HR department shared drive, then we need to generate an approval. And as you can imagine, a business requirement like that is pretty easy to knock out in ServiceNow's graphical workflow editor. First, I check to see if the person is a manager, yes or no. Then I check to see if the department is checked, yes or no. Then I go and get the HR approval in the right situation. And so we have a couple of things I need to do. First, I need to be able to impersonate a person who isn't a manager or who is a manager, depending on which test case I want to test. Then I need to either select or not select the department checkbox um, to make sure that the approval is generated at the right time. So you can imagine probably if I know exactly what I'm doing, I might be able to get this wired up and maybe I'll only run through it two or three times before I pass it off to a customer with some confidence, or in your case, 
you would pass it off to your business users with some confidence that this thing works the way you would, the way you want it to. But you know what gets me every single time? Well, not so much in the last six months, but it had been getting me for a really long time before that is these if activities. I can never remember. Do I have to put answer in front? I can't remember either. What are what's actually in these variables? Is it true in quotes or is it a one or is it true without quotes? I can never remember. So this is a little bit uh, scripted for you. As you can see, I'm going to wind up going through a couple of failures here. But let me show you the old way of testing this. The old way is that I go to the catalog and I find shared drive and I check this HR department button and I click order now. And then I have to click through to the request item and flip the view back to default and come under here. Oh, no, I don't have an approval. Why don't I have an approval? There must be something wrong with my script. And so I look at the workflow and I see that it passed through here and I see, well, even though I checked the HR department button, this is saying, no, I didn't check it. So now I have to go into the workflow, open up the activity, try a different version of this script. And, and go through that whole checkout again. Now you can imagine if this activity were buried behind two approval steps in front of it and maybe even a gating task, it'll take me a good minute to two minutes to go through a checkout just to test one line of code. So how can we do this from a test-driven development standpoint? Well, what I can do is I can load up Test Runner. Test Runner is a automated testing suite that Fruition Partners licenses um, and uses internally for our product development and increasingly for the consulting services we provide to our outside customers. And what I can do is I can create a, what's called a test suite here. You can see I created one here called Catalog Item Shared Drive. And what we have here is 24 lines of code that does the task of creating a cart, generating a request item from that cart, setting the selections of two variables. In this case, I'm checking HR and I'm checking the IT drive, check mark, placing the order, then checking using Glide Record, checking the Glide, uh, the sysapproval table to make sure that the approval that I expect has actually been generated. And that's all confirmed in this last line where I say I expect the Glide Record to be a valid record, meaning that that approval record exists. So I expect it to be a valid record, meaning that the valid record function here returns true. So with this test suite, what I can do is I can just run this right here. Um, I'll just click um, run. I'll see that the test drive failed, which is the exact same experience I had as a, as a user driving this. There's a record down at the bottom that shows a date stamped history of the most recent time I ran it and what the result was, which was failed. Now, if you want to see what it actually did in terms of records, we can go to the service catalog and we can see that it generated real records just as though I had done it through the user interface. So if we go to, sorry, I have to go to the right thing here. We go to items, we see that an item was just open and it was opened uh, just recently. It looks like we are on, I don't know, what is that? Hawaiian time? I mean, come on. So. Uh, when I look within this item, we can see that we don't have approvers. So what I can do now is instead of having to go through this checkout each time to test my functionality, I'll just keep this test suite open on this, on this record here. And now what I'm going to do is go into my scripts, try another version. This time I think I'm going to try using answer. Go back to the test suite, click run. Nope, I'm still failing. All right, I've got one more thing to try. And I'm pretty confident this is going to work. I think I need to use answer, but what I'm looking for is the value of that variable is actually going to be true. So I'm going to save that, go back to the test suite, and hit run. And now I see that my test suite has passed. So now I can go to the, I can verify the records if I want. But we see that this most recent record, the one that was just generated through that test-driven development suite, uh, has, a, has an approval record attached as expected. So this gives you just a little taste of the time savings that test-driven development can bring to you. But more importantly, what you'll learn in our tools track and specifically in our test-driven development class, there's more to this than just time savings. It's about better design. 
and it's about the ability to refactor code in the future and easily regression test functionality that you developed a year and a half ago and have long since forgotten about and get a very quick feedback from ServiceNow about whether that code still works or whether it's broken. So we look forward, I look forward to seeing you. Um, I encourage you to check out the tools track um, and all of the other tracks. Um, it should be a great conference. Thank you very much. I'm going to have Karen uh, wrap things up here. All right. Thank you so much, Matt. Was, I'm not a developer, but that was really interesting. Um, so we're here at the end. Uh, one thing is I just want to let you know, I stated the dates wrong earlier. I want to clarify uh, the, the pre-conference is Saturday, September 28th and Sunday, September 29th. Um, and then the conference kicks off in the evening of Sunday, the 29th the 29th and runs Monday, September 30th, uh, Tuesday, October 1st, ending with that 4 a.m. on the 2nd, which is a Wednesday. Um, so ordering, we've got two early bird price rates remaining. Uh, one ends tomorrow at 7 p.m. and that cost is $16.95. We've got another one ending two weeks after that. Uh, $18.95 will be the cost then. Uh, the full price is $19.95. You can order using a credit card at our website. If you need an invoice, just email through DevCon and we'll help you out with that. The discount, today's discount is good only for conference orders, not for the pre-conference. It's good for 10% off any existing rates. Um, so once you could take 10% off that $16.95 if you use it before Friday. And that code is webinar1. Newly announced right here, we've got a promotion. Um, 10 hours of free virtual admin for non-current virtual admin customers. Uh, that is a $2,000 value, um, so really can end up saving your, you know, saving your company money if you purchase today. Um, and in case you're unfamiliar with what virtual admin is, uh, virtual admin is expert assistance on the on ServiceNow administration for you. Um, I'm going to wrap up, just check and see if we have any questions. If you have any, go ahead and type them up, or else you can always email us at fruedevcon at fruitionpartners.com, and we're happy to help you out. All right, looks like we're ending right on time. Thank you so much. Have a great day.